Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Wah, 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 wah. Hey there. Today we are in an old library and we are learning about volume. As soon as number one heard about volume, he got his opera music out and started singing loudly. That is horrible. I don't know how much more I can take. The bigger problem is that we are learning about the mathematical volume. You know, the amount of space within a three-dimensional object. Like how much a cup can hold and things like that. Oh boy, he is still singing. I can't take this. Take a look into how to find the volume of a 3D object while we get the number one to stop singing. The amount of space within a 3D object is called its volume. Knowing the volume of a 3D object can tell us how much of something can fit inside of it. Like a soda can. Its shape is often a cylinder like this one and the size or dimensions of the can determines how much soda is inside. So what about a tissue box? If the tissue box doubles in height, then it can hold twice as many tissues. Let's try some problems and see how to calculate the volume of figures called rectangular prisms. The volume of the prism is blank inches cubed. The figure is called a rectangular prism because its base shape is a rectangle. In this example, there are two bases, one on top and one on bottom, with the dimensions of 3 inches by 4 inches. The rectangular prism has a height of 10 inches, which is made up of the tall skinny rectangles. To find the volume, we're going to use the formula V equals capital B times H, where capital B equals the area of the base shape and H is the height of the prism. Oh wait, do we know the area of the base shape? We said the base shape is the rectangle with the dimensions of 3 inches by 4 inches. The area of a rectangle is found by multiplying its length times width, in this case 3 times 4 which we know is 12. Now we want to multiply by the height of the prism, which is 10, so we'll write 12 times 10. And 12 times 10 equals 120. Our units are inches cubed, or cubic inches, because volume is working in three dimensions. Ultimately, we can write the volume formula as length times width times height. Because length times width is the area of the base shape, and we multiplied by the height of the prism. Let's try another problem. How many unit cubes would it take to fill a rectangular prism with side lengths 7, 8, and 5? We can draw a model to visualize the problem, but first, let's discuss a unit cube, which is simply a cube that is one unit by one unit by one unit. Okay, so our rectangular prism will have seven unit cubes for the length, eight unit cubes for the width, and five unit cubes for the height. We want to find out how many unit cubes are needed to fill our prism as a whole. Since volume equals length times width times height, we will substitute 7, 8, and 5 into our formula. 
multiply 7 times 8 times 5, and that gives us 280 units cubed. Great job! Are you ready for another challenge? The total volume of the rectangular prisms is blank centimeters cubed. To find the total volume of both rectangular prisms, we will find the volume of each prism and then add the volumes together. Let's start with the blue prism on the bottom. We know volume equals length times width times height. Let's substitute 5, 4, and 11 into our formula. 5 times 4 times 11 equals 220 centimeters cubed. And now we'll find the volume of the top orange prism. Notice the 4 centimeters width from below can be carried up to the top prism. This means we will substitute 5, 4, and 6 into our formula. 5 times 4 times 6 equals 120 centimeters cubed. Nice job! Now we need to add 220 plus 120 equals 340 centimeters cubed. The total volume of the rectangular prism is 340 cubic centimeters. Come on guys, please let me back in. I promise my voice is getting better. Having the number one outside is music to my ears. Thanks for coming today and learning with us. Check out our Mage Math games on our website. Maybe if the number one stays quiet, we will let him back in. No siree. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.